show place. Linda Moma joins us live in Turlock with a look inside the Carnegie Arts Center Designer Show House. Hey, Linda. Hey guys, yeah, and wait till you see this house. It really is amazing. But I just found out a really interesting little factoid just a few minutes ago. So this house that we're standing in was built in the 1940s by a doctor, and the homeowner who lives here now, he actually delivered her uh, as a baby. So wow. a really cool connection there. I know, really cool. But I want to get to some of these rooms because there's so much to see. Jeannie, designers have been working so hard on all of these different rooms and I love how they kind of tackled each space separately but it all kind of came together in the end. Mm -hmm. It's unusual for a show house to have rooms that kind of blend because normally when you think of a show house you think of each room as being an exclamation and each designer is trying to show their talents but also show something new. Yes. In this home, it has been really, truly remarkable that it has blended so well. Yes, okay, and we're standing in the kitchen, and this is a significant room because you were telling me that this space was completely gutted. Completely gutted. So not only was this space gutted, the laundry room that was connected to it was also gutted, making the kitchen larger, and the laundry room was moved upstairs, which oh, is wow. very okay. unusual. Yes, a lot of light in here. What are some of the details in here that you like? Well, I like the fact that they used the old subfloor. Yes. In the 30s and 40s, subfloors were always vertical fur, and then they would put linoleum on top of that. They peeled the linoleum off the owners, and they've only been in the house less than a year, and they bought it from the original owners, the Olson family, which is really interesting. And I would like to correct. Oh, is the, it? John Lazar was delivered by oh, Dr. Okay, Olson. Okay, it was the Gino. husband. Got and it. Okay. Another Designer was also delivered by. Oh wow! <laughs> when we got outside. another another yeah. unique connection. So this floor is, is interesting because it is really a subfloor, but it was refinished and it's just it has this character. It's, yes. it's very nice. I think that's interesting. I think the fact that they kept the window placement. They didn't really challenge the character of the home. Okay. It, it is updated and it is very smart. Yes and it just is a lovely space to be. Okay, and what is really cool right now, you guys, in this other room, I'm gonna get over here because one of the designers who designed this room over here happens to be inside the house right now, kind of tidying up. Uh, Wendy, you are with an interior design company here. Mm -hmm. Wendy Glaster Interiors. Fantastic. And so what was the inspiration for this room? Uh, well, we in the home itself. So you can see there's a really beautiful little herringbone detail. It's called picture framing oh. on the floor. So we picked it up and we put it on the wainscoting on the wall uh, so that we just needed a little more texture in this space. And then the staircase has a really cute little bobbin baluster detail. So we found these beautiful little bobbin chairs. Um, Again, just kind of hearkening back to that original style of the home, but in yeah. a fresh, peppy, happy way. We just thought it was important to honor the history of the space, the history of the home, the period, but make it fresh and contemporary for a young family. It's really beautiful. I love what you did with the room. I'm just going to show you really quickly, you guys, because there's this tiny little room over here that is so cute uh, that Jeannie was telling me about, and it has a really unique gallery wall um, with a lot of artwork featuring women, and this kind of goes to show brass placard that says woman I love that. and the name of the room is, is femme den and it's all portraits of women which i think is so wonderful <coughs> to do this at this time yes. and it and it goes to show that you what you can do with a small space um, so for the interest of time there's a lot to see and do here i want to get to it in the next hour so a team of designers also went outside to design the landscape outdoors. It's really cool. So we're going to show you that coming up in the next hour and also tell you how you can tour the home both inside and out. Coming up, guys. What a neat place. Right. Gorgeous in there. All right, Linda Mumba, thanks.